Sunday marked the first anniversary of the Black Friday bomb threats. They made the busiest shopping day of 2011 busy for the wrong reasons. Customers and employees had to evacuate stores for about an hour and a half. The Marquette City Police were pleased that this year didn't bring a repeat performance. We were concerned about that and when things like that happen it t ties up a lot of resources across the county, lots of agencies in that and uh, whether it's a false uh, uh, alarm or not, we have to treat it the same. The Holiday Inn here in Marquette was one of three businesses in the city that had Black Friday threats made against it a year ago. Shopco and Econo Foods were the other two targets. In Marquette Township, Walmart, Target, J.C. Penney, and Kohl's also received threats. Mining Journal publisher Jim Reeves was furious that an occasion important to the livelihoods of so many people could be so blatantly disrupted. A year ago Monday, the day after the threats, he announced the creation of a reward fund for any information leading to arrests. He says the newspaper wanted to help send a message. Don't do this in our backyard again, and, and we hope that part of that reason that they didn't have it this year is because of that, because they know that we're not going to take it sitting down. If it happens again, we're going to go after these people. The fund balance began at $500 and increased quickly. And a lot of people throughout, it was over a two couple week period of time that people kept calling and said, I want to contribute. The reward was up over $3,600. Obviously, we did not put the money to use because they couldn't find the people that did it. The case has been closed for months, but that doesn't mean it always will be. If any leads were to come up, of course, we would be able to open it at any time. So just because something's closed, uh, Label closed doesn't mean that we won't reopen the case. There's no word from the Marquette police on why the investigation was closed without any arrests made. In Marquette, Mike Hoey, ABC 10 and CW5 News Now.